Stop Press. Toki Tsukaze Stable's renewed website gives us more information on super heavyweight Ken Ho. The person he respects is his father. He likes people with winning smiles. His favorite food is rice. He dislikes coriander. His motto is don't think about it, experience it. He joined Tokitsukaze because he likes Sumo and the stable, whose atmosphere he continues to praise. His vow is not to get injured, and his message to fans is he'll do his best. All very polite. What you're seeing here is Sumo's second heaviest man bounce back from defeat to 70 kilo Byakuen with five straight wins, a feat he's managed just once since turning 30. That was mid-division 5, where he mostly wins on initial hit or with left clamp. Upper division 5 though is a challenge these days, as November again showed, casting doubt ever more on his injury pledge. He first lost the charge to Takataisho, who's basically 4th tier level when fit, and promptly beat a retreat. Match 2 brought a welcome inside right, allowing the shoulder to ram. The ensuing drive causing foe's alarmed face to whiten. But that was the only charge he could even claim to have drawn. Three years older, Ryu Seo pushed up on the chest from a central position to block off his right and expose his fear of backward steps. He would then be expulsed by this sumo comedian, who's not even half his weight, in the only bout I could not record. Teenager Ito was next in line to bring shoulder across and press with the left, holding stance till the right came outside. Kenho's right, that is. A protective barrier removed. The same attack angle for Yamino Sato, who's oft graced Division 4, reaped expected rewards in match 6. While 19-year-old Asahabataki, while slipping off the pectorals, went down to the ribs to finish the job. Those last four bouts were all first meetings, and all brought zero reward. This senior colleague retired last month, and Kenho can't be far behind turning 34 in a matter of weeks. Just how much more can those legs prop him up?